Today on WhatRVSite.com, we are in Paladuro Canyon again. <clears throat> it's really windy here. It's like March, March 31st. It's a little bit breezy. And this campground, um, it's all reserved, but it's empty. Okay, I guess because maybe the cold front came through. Like I said, it's very windy here today. And uh, it's probably like 40, 50 degrees. Um, but we are on site 114. Alright, so this is site 114. 114. And it's um I think this is a relatively new addition to the to the campsite or to Paladuro. Because all the facilities, like the bathrooms and everything over there are very clean and new. Um, I will say that the, the driveway piece here is not exactly very level. Um, we were just here for the night, so I just I didn't want to disconnect. So I just kind of ram jammed the camper in here. And the back of the camper is, is quite unlevel. But that's alright. Just one night. This is one of our favorite campgrounds. The trails and everything are just so fantastic. <clears throat> But it has uh, go to this other campsite to get over here. It has water and electric, and everything's kind of in the backside here. So if your facilities are towards the back of the camper, it'll work well. Looks like they had some issues here, um, maybe this week, so they fixed it. But all facilities here work. And it's all in great shape too. Like it's all brand new. <coughs> You got your 50 and 30. Like I said, everything fits pretty well in here. The site's nice. It has like a little pergola. And a fire ring. And the other thing that's really cool is they put these rocks by the fire pit so you can sit and you just easily have like your, your cookouts and whatnot. So that's one of our favorite campgrounds. Obviously watch out for the big rocks when you're backing in. The driveway's long enough that I was able to kind of turn the truck right in and you could see it on both sides. So, and there's no trees on either side. So this site actually was pretty easy to back in. All right, 114.